how to sell print-on-demand products on eBay through Printify. Hi guys, today we're going to talk about how to sell print-on-demand products on eBay using this platform, Printify. Now to begin with, the first thing you're going to do is to go to Printify.com. Now over here, we can see the homepage of Printify. Now to start, we're going to click the Start for Free button on the left side, and then it's going to take us to this sign up page. To sign up, you're going to have to enter your email address and then password, confirm that you are not a robot, and then click sign up. You can also click continue through Google by clicking over here. Now after signing up, you're going to be facing several questions, such as this question, what describes you the best? I'm going to go with, I am a social media influencer. The second question is, what is your main objectives? I'm going to start my first online business. What would you like help with? Right now, I don't need help at the moment. How did you find out about Printify? We're going to click YouTube. And then after doing all those questions, we're going to be faced with three choices. The first choice is order a sample. The second choice is to connect your store immediately to Printify. Or the third option, which is design your custom product. We're going to go first and click start designing. And then we're going to be redirected to the catalog of Printify. As you can see here, you can see new arrivals such as the canvas gallery wraps, men gym shorts, vinyl banners, post-it notepads, and we also have different categories over here. To see more, we're going to go up here on the top and hover on catalog. Over here, we can see we have featured products, bestsellers, new arrivals, eco-friendly items, AOP clothing assembled in the USA, the print providers, the different brands, the bulk discounts, and my favorites. You can also see the different categories on over here, like the men's clothing, we have t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, similar to women's clothing, and then we also have kids' clothing, and the different options we can make under accessories, such as face masks, phone cases, bags, socks, and then we also have home and living category. Now, first, we're going to click on the best sellers. Best sellers means that these are the products that the users of Printify are buying the most. These are the most in-demand products that people are buying. Over here, we can see that we have a woman clothing, a hoodie, a sweater, a sweatshirt, a short sleeve. We also have a phone case. Now we're gonna scroll down and look for a product that we want to create a design on. I'm going to choose this AOP tote bag and then we're gonna click this. That is going to redirect us to this page where we can see the different description such as generic brand, the type of material, the box corners, block cotton handles, and more description. We could also click read more so that we could see the key features of our product. There's also care instructions so that we know how to take care of our product. There's also a size guide where we can see it under Imperial or the metric system. There's also suggestions here for other products. We're going to scroll up again. Then we're going to see here the print providers. The print provider for this tote bag is called MWW On Demand and the location is in the United States. We're now going to click on the button Start Designing. And then this will redirect us to this editing page. In this page, we will be able to edit our designs and then customize our tote bag. As you can see here on the right side, we have new design where we can add designs from my devices or we could have custom text or add image from Shutterstock, Dropbox, and Google. As you can see down here, we have a file requirement for when you upload a design. Now we're gonna go to my library and then the My Library would contain the different designs that you would have uploaded from before so that you could access them easily once again. We also have graphics over here where we have different elements that we can use to add more design to our product. Now we're going to start designing our product. We're going to go back to new design. Then we're going to add design from my device. I'm going to upload a design that I have created in Canva. And then we're going to wait for it to upload. And then now we're going to see our image on this editing screen. We're going to drag this over here and then we're going to enlarge it 
so that to fit the tote bag size and then we can align it with the line so that we know that it's in the middle now we have just different options over here we have flip horizontally we could flip the design vertically we could make it fit the placeholder we could fill the placeholder we could duplicate it or we can delete it right now we're gonna duplicate it and then we're gonna drag it down here then we're gonna make sure it's aligned and then we're gonna click flip vertically as you can see the layout of this tote bag that this tote bag that this is the bottom of the bag which means that when this is assembled this boat design would be facing the correct direction and it would be upright now over here on the right we could click this button over here and then we can see the different sizes that we can sell our tote bag in we're we're going to select small and medium so that and that means we could sell the different sizes of the tote bag now we can see here that we can make a specific design for medium and and for small but right now we're gonna have the same design which is this now as you can see here in the background color we can change the color of our tote bag we change it to light gray we could change it to black if you want a pure black tote bag we change it to yellow and any color that you want you could input specific color code over here if the color that you want is not visible in this color palette over here now we're gonna put it back to color white and then we're gonna click save product now it's gonna redirect us to this page where we can see different mockups of our design we could see here that we have a front design a back design a person holding our product another person holding our product we could also see the different image size now down here we could see the description we could change the title we could change the description of our product and then scrolling down we could see the different variants over here selecting this means that we could edit the price we could edit the profit we could edit the profit margin of all the different variants of our product at the same time now over here when we scroll down we could see in publishing setting we can see that we have not connected to a store yet now this is where we will connect our ebay store to our printify account we're simply going to click on connect a store then it's going to redirect us to this page then we're going to click connect now over here we can see that there's different options such as etsy shopify and walmart us as you can see here on the top there's more options over here and what we're going to click on is the ebay now after this before we can connect our ebay store it's going to ask us several questions once again such as create your store create an ebay account register a seller account set up a payment method and then confirm an ebay business policy and then it will allow you to connect now in step one it's going to ask us to create our store right now we're gonna click on i want to create a new store and then we're gonna put in a store name i'm gonna use coffee Real our as our name and then we're gonna click connect now the step two is create an ebay account if you have an if you don't have an ebay account you can click this link and this will redirect you to ebay so then you can proceed and create an ebay account as of not right now i have an ebay account so i'm gonna click this and then i'm gonna click continue it will then ask you to register for a seller account as you can see here in the instruction if you don't have a seller account you can click this tax over here and this and then this will redirect you to the ebay page once again for the registration process after creating your seller account you can click the check button then press continue and, and proceed to the setup payment method and then confirm ebay business policies and connect after this step you can see on the left you would you would need to set up a payment method and then confirm an ebay business policy and then you would be able to connect now after connecting your ebay store i also recommend you to finish up this to-do list over here where you need to add your personal details and add a store name when you connect your ebay store this to-do list over here would be, would be accomplished and then you could start selling it and then your product will appear in ebay also and that's it guys hope you learned something 
hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching